Hi everyone, welcome to Production Operations Management. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a very simple example uh, re related to Chapter 9, Process Layouts. So this example considers a hospital, very basic, with three departments. And we want to locate this emergency x-ray and lab into this building where there are three areas. So the hospital decided to put the emergency into area one, x-ray into area two, and the lab into area three. And the hospital also has some flows information from other hospitals or maybe uh, using some kind of a survey. And what they know is every day on average, there would be 150 patients going from emergency to x-ray and 30 patients coming back from x-ray to emergency, 50 patients going from emergency to lab, and 20 coming back. And this could be some different patients, but these are just flow. And then between lab and x-ray, 50 and 80. And the distances between the areas right now are provided here, and we provide all the distances as well. So if this is a situation, then the total distance traveled would be uh, the multiplication of the distances by the flows and that would provide you the, the sum of the distances traveled by all the patients so if you just put some kind of a highlighter at the maybe this the bottom of the uh, the shoes of the patients and if they uh, leave some marks you would see that uh, what you want to do is you want to see the the largest marks happening between area one and area two because this is the shortest distance and then maybe a little bit lo uh, less between emergency and lab and you don't want a lot of movements between area three and area two because this is the largest distance so if you are able to minimize the sum of the distances then you would have the best plan but if you think about a grocery store or a shopping mall, you would try to maximize this, maximize this transportation distance. So if this is a situation, what I could do is I can just use the sum product function basically to multiply these numbers with these numbers. If you don't know the sum product function, you will have to do this one by one and there are nine different cells to multiply by each other. But the sum product does this for you, and now you have 13,800 meters traveled by all the patients per day. What you can do is you can take this and maybe if you can assign a dollar value uh, to this uh, travel, then you can find your total distance of uh, and cost of travel. And this could be maybe uh, suitable for a factory plant where when the parts move from one uh, location to another they are going to lose you are going to lose time in from the production your productivity will go down this is the same thing in, in a hospital as well because the hospital really cares about the time management that sometimes the patient's lives depend on that so if this is the situation, the total distance happens to be 13,800. So let's try to look at, between emergency and x-ray, there are 180 patients. And between emergency and lab, there are 70 patients. But between lab and x-ray, here this is lab to x-ray, and this is x-ray to lab, 130 patients. Now in this case, lab and x-ray, more patients, but you are you put these patients into the longest the, uh, distance. I can still have the emergency x-ray in these areas, but I can flip them. So I can have the x-ray here. The x-ray could be here. And the, the emergency could be in this uh, area. And I can leave my lab in there. So, in that case, let's see what would be the improvement. Uh, just make this smaller. So the improvement would be we have to look at the distances again. 
Now the emergency and x-ray, the distance is still 25. X-ray and lab, <coughs> the distance is now 40. X-ray to lab is 40. And x-ray to lab is 40. And also between lab and x-ray is uh, now lab and emergency is 50. And the lab and emergency is 50. Now our uh, total distance travel is 13,200. The earlier case was, uh, let's say this option one and option two. And if I go back to Ando, my values, I forgot what was it, 13,800. And option one is 13,800 meters. But option two is 13,200 meters. Thanks for watching.